You know, as I sit here in MRM Studios, I start thinking about a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that I had planned on talking about. And a lot of things that I planned on not talking about. But I'm here to give you the real me. I'm thinking about the time that I first started my acting career at this little theater in Columbus, Ohio called Living the Dream Theater. Grateful for that opportunity. I think about my first audition for an independent film called A Symbol of Love back in 1998. I think about myself being on the number one show on AMC Playing a character named Oscar on the number one show, The Walking Dead. <laughs> I think about my journey. My journey from Trotwood, Ohio, to Hollywood, California. My name is Vincent M. Ward, and I present to you the dead man walking. <laughs> You know, in this industry, this industry is tough. And only the strong will survive. Only the strong will survive in this amazing industry. I think back, I look back at these clips that you're watching or just watched. I think about the ones that didn't make it, the ones that wasn't included on the reel. And I'm very grateful for it. But the crazy thing about it, guys, is I don't feel like I'm where I want to be. But in the same breath, I'm not where I used to be. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm very, very honored and grateful for all my accomplishments. They were good. But I'm not here to be good. I'm here to be great. I want to be one of the great ones in this industry. I've put my time in. I've worked hard. I've been loyal. <laughs> I've had a lot of tears. I've had a lot of fears, but you know what? I've still been here for almost 20 years. <laughs> but when you have when you have love and passion for something, it doesn't matter how long you wait, you'll wait, you'll wait. Especially if you drink it, you eat it, you breathe it. But you also have to keep in mind that everything that shines is not gold. Because sooner or later, that one thing is gonna pop in your mind. That one thing is called patience. Patience could be your enemy. Doubt creeps up in your mind. Your faith, oh yeah, your faith might just fade away. Then you start hearing those negative voices. Those voices. You're not good enough. You need to quit. 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 You're not pretty. You're not handsome enough. You're overweight. You need to go back to Ohio. Those voices. But then you have to realize that those negative voices are just distractions. They're just lies because that's what the enemy wants you to do. The enemy don't want you to believe in yourself. The enemy is here to seek and destroy. We all fall, but what is it that you do when you get back up? You shake it off. You shake it off. You shake off those lies. Whatever you believe in or whoever you pray to, you pray to them. Because you got to stay ready. Just don't be ready. Stay ready. And then you won't have to get ready. But every day, every day you got to get up, you got to rise and grind. 
every day. You got to get up and do something to better your life, to better, better your family's life. Hell, you just got to do something to make somebody smile. I mean, it doesn't matter if you know them or not. It doesn't cost to be, it doesn't cost to be nice, kind, considerate, helpful to people you don't know. Trust me. Trust me when I tell you that all your dreams are meant to come true. But you got to open your eyes and see them. You have to see it for yourself. You have to envision your success. You have to tell yourself that the hardest thing to becoming successful is to ignore the word no. No. You got to ignore that word. You got to get it out of your head. Not cause, because not every day a door is going to open, but you got to keep on knocking until somebody lets you in. Knock, knock. Nobody's open. Knock, knock. No. Knock, knock. Mm -mm. Knock, knock. Keep knocking until somebody eventually says yes. Because it'll happen. And you look in yourself, you look in yourself in the mirror and you ask yourself, why not me? Why not you? You've been working hard, you've been loyal, you've been drama free, you be on time, you be prepared. So why not? Why oh you? I remember one time some guy asked me, he said, hey man, you know, you've been doing all right. You know, you've been doing some things and whatnot. You know, what if you don't make it? What do you have to fall back on? I was sat there, it's like, oh, but you've been doing some things. What if? Huh. And I thought, and I said, I said to him that my body and my mind, my heart and my soul is not designed to fall back on anything. I'm designed to launch forward. Because mentally, spiritually, and emotionally, you got to be strong to succeed in whatever you put your mind and heart to. Whatever job or whatever career that is, you launch forward. You don't let these naysayers tell you, put things in your mind to make you start doubting yourself. Remember, why not you? I'm only here... I'm only here to keep it real with you. I'm only here to be honest with you. Like some people say, I'm only here to keep it 100 with you. I'm here to tell you the good, the bad, the happy, and the sad. I'm not sugarcoating anything. I've been in over 70 movies and TV shows and almost 100 plays. <laughs> That's my past. And I'm only focusing on my future. Believe it or not, I have eight grandkids. Eight grandkids, and I'm trying to leave a positive legacy for them. Something that they can feel proud about their pawpaw. Yeah, pawpaw. <laughs> and but for you, I'm only here to inspire. I'm here to educate, I'm here to teach, I'm here to preach, I'm here to motivate you, and I'm here to answer any and every question that you may have about this industry. The industry that so many people say they want to be in. I love it. I love acting. I love being an actor. <laughs> but you gotta rise and grind. You see, rise and grind is not just some, some fancy term that I like saying, but it's a way of life. It's a way of life. You see, this is the only career that you can go to school for and not be promised a job. You have a better chance being a, a lawyer or a judge than becoming an actor. So you gotta believe in yourself. I mean, how can you expect us to believe in you if you don't believe in yourself? <laughs> I 
No no procrastination. No procrastination, no drama, no excuses, no self-pity. This is the only time that you have to listen to no. You don't have to listen to no any other time. You get down to on yourself, this is the only time you listen to no excuses, no procrastination, no self-pity, no excuses. I had to say it again to get it through your head. Because sometimes people just wake up and think, oh, I'm just going to get up and do nothing today. Oh, I'm just going to wait for my agent or my manager. No, sometimes you got to go out and you got to get it yourself. You get it yourself. You you get a nice, you know, a nice following. You get a nice uh, work ethic that people will be like, you know what, let's call such and such. Let's hit Vincent M. Ward up. Let's call this person. Let's call that person. Because if it was that easy, guess what? Everybody will be doing it. <laughs> so, with that being said, I'm Vincent M. Ward. And I see you when I'm looking at you. Rise and grind. Peace.